How's it going, everybody? So in this video, I am going to talk about how to get rid of a herniated disc without surgery. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I do appreciate um, the support. Helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Um, herniated discs. Um, this is very, very difficult to answer because I know two people, one person, both of them have had herniated discs. The difference is that one person had surgery to correct it and the other person has not had surgery. So the difference is if you do get surgery, what they'll do is they'll fuse those discs together so they're not slipped anymore. So um, you don't have the herniated discs anymore. Um, this will almost, sometimes it doesn't, but almost always fix the problem. You won't feel any more pain. By not having the surgery, then every time there's a flare up, you can really throw your back out and you can experience a ton of pain. Um, the other person that I know, they, this happens a couple of times a year for them. So here's what I would do if you wanna do it without surgery. You need to make sure that you keep your exercise level very, very high. I know this may seem counterintuitive, like um, why would you do that? You risk hurting your back. You risk hurting your back if you're deadlifting like 500 pounds, then you're at risk of hurting your back. By slowly working it over time and actually building it stronger, it could have some good effects on it, assuming we're not doing high impact training. So what I would recommend doing for this would be simple stretches such as yoga, beginner exercises though, until, you, uh, until you've done yoga for a bit. Walking, very easy to do. You don't have to run, don't have to jog, simple walking. Swimming, this is the one that I really like because there's no pressure, there's nothing on your back. There's no, it's amazing. Swimming is absolutely amazing for rehabbing every part of your body, it's amazing. So really recommend. I'm swimming, stair climber too. Lots of gyms have them. Um, I don't think, I've only used it a few times, but I think a stair climber is really good. Um, cycling, uh, using the bike is very good as well. So you want, again, low impact exercises that won't strain the disc anymore because you can still hurt it. You do heavy exercises, heavy weight lifting it, and you can damage it more, trust me. So really, really make sure that you guys are doing low impact exercise. So end of video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, Dylan Berg 999.